All right, gentlemen, gentlemen. Hey, gentlemen. My name is Ethel Walresser and I am your HR consultant. All good. Yes, we need this. This is good. Okay, uh, given the current circumstances, I have been mining through your past tweets, just in case anyone is James Gunning for you. Sorry, I like to make a humor every now and then. Yeah, I don't think I have anything to worry about. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty cuckoo bananas, but I'm not offensive, I wouldn't say. Have you ever been uh, bean burrito? It's when you eat a can of beans and then you get wrapped up in a blanket and sold on the black market for $5, but you later escape because you give them diarrhea. Okay, Elliot, we'll start with you. On 2014, you uh, tweeted, Jared Leto looks like a set of teeth decided to wear a person. Yes, and I would like to take this moment and apologize if I offended any teeth. Joe says here, uh, May 15th, 2013, that you tweeted, my children are shining beacons of beauty. If shining beacons of beauty is what you call total freaking assholes. My kids were being assholes. Yeah, I just think that maybe openly saying that to 180,000 Twitter folks. 185,000. Okay. It's just borderline inappropriate. Yeah, but they were being assholes. And um, lastly, Steve. Oh, well, uh, you know what? Actually, before you say anything, um, I just want you to know that like most of my tweets are pretty off the wall. They're kind of weird, but I'm I'm not a bad guy. So. Oh, okay, good. As long as you're not a bad guy. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not at all. Got it's it. not a bad guy. Not right. a bad guy. You guys. Yeah. He's a great guy. Okay. Thank you. Good guy. <clears throat> On December twenty fourth, two thousand eight, you tweeted. Okay, you know what? <laughs> We're comedians, you know? It's like, we should be able to say whatever we want. At 9.52 p.m. No, uh, whatever it is, I'll delete it. I'll delete it right now, just tell me which one. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> That's it? Merry Christmas? I mean, is that where the line was 10 years ago? What is this PC bullshit? Let me finish. Merry Christmas. I hope you have a white one, because the Aryan race is the supreme version of the human species. This is not a joke. I actually believe this. I am sober. <laughs> um, this is a joke. And then a second one, two slash three, I think there was a thread. 2008 was a crazy year, wasn't it, guys? It was, I mean, I was on new medication, it was crazy. He tweeted, I wish I was white. I crave that Aww. pearl iridescent skin like a dolphin craves cascading water down his or her slippery hide. Hey, we'll move all for gender equality with dolphins. <laughs> Am I right, guys? And then the last one, three out of three. Again, I, I think it's a thread. It's, um, seriously, it goes Aryan, then canine, then other trash people. If someone asks me to delete this tweet, I'll say I will, but then I won't. <laughs> and then you posted a snowy Thomas Kincaid painting. Steve, when we started this company, we all agreed that we would delete any offensive tweets, photos, and hide any under the table payments we might have made. And you're meaning to tell me that just as we're getting this off the ground, you failed to mention to anyone, you're a Thomas Kincaid fan. I like his Disney stuff. We're fucked! We're fucked! Just staring right, I'm Bill Pullman. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to your show. <laughs> guys, this is your show. My name is Elliot, this is Steve and Lee and Joe. And we're entirely funded by you lovely folks, which is part of the reason we call this your show. And if you'd like to be a part of uh, funding the madness, you can go to patreon.com slash thevalleyfolk, which is where we get all of the questions and comments, dares, truths, whatever, what have you, scenarios, improv moments, bits and tidbits. And, uh, and we're gonna dive right in right now. Uh, you guys ready? You excited? Yeah, I'm do you want to do like one of these? Yeah, oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, one, two, three. Two, three. Yes, really went. We can cut that out. Hannah Scubis. 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 Hannah Scubis. Scubis. My BF and I just moved to Boulder, Colorado. But because we both work from home, we haven't been able to really meet any new people. I am far too anxious to go on Bumble friends dates. I understand. 
Uh, since I am a woman and mildly concerned about being kidnapped or worse. My brother and sister-in-law live in Boulder, Colorado right now. You can just go hang out with them. Oh, his name is idea. David Morgan, okay. and his <laughs> wife is Emily Morgan. You know what a good friend would do? A good friend wouldn't even tell them that they're gonna try to become their friends. Maybe start just stalking around. Maybe go to their place. Leave little gifts. Look through their trash and see what they yep. eat a lot of, and just yes. like bring some of that to their door and leave it there. Hey, it looks like you like Kraft mac and cheese. You can start like, looking at what they're doing on their social media. See what they look like, see what they wear. Start buying those same things. Style your hair the same way. Start showing up to places that they show up to five minutes before them. You could even just stand outside their window and stare at them while they sleep. Oh Study God, their behavior this. like an analyst. So you can later use that data to depict like the perfect way to kill them. And then you can find the weapons at the Home Depot, but buy them periodically throughout the year so that you don't throw arms or whatever. And you're gonna want to get some plastic tubs so that when you dissolve their bodies, you can't catch them, you can't be caught. Also, when you're looking at people through the window, try not to blink, because every blink is a way to miss what they're doing. <laughs>Hi, my name is Elliot. I'm Joe. Hi, I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Lee Newton. I'm gonna be reading quotes from serial killers for the first time on camera on Helium. Here we go. I don't believe in man, God, nor devil. I hate the whole damned human race, including myself. This just sounds like something I wrote on Live Journal like five years ago. <laughs> you maggots make me sick. I will be avenged. Lucifer dwells within us all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the most cold-hearted son of a bitch you'll ever meet. Ted Bundy. I'm Jesus Christ. Whether or not you want to accept it, I don't care. <laughs> to me, this world is nothing but evil. And my own evil just happened to come out because of the circumstances of what I was doing. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> happens, dude. <laughs> <laughs> My mornings are just a collection of moments where I misplace, search for, and then find the same few objects again and again. Philip DeFranco. <laughs> I am very fond of jazz music, and I swear by all the devils in the nether regions that every person shall be spared whose home a jazz band is in full swing at the time I have just mentioned. If everyone has a jazz band going, well, then so much the better for you people. One thing is certain, and that is that some of your people who do not jazz it on Tuesday night, if there be any. I like children. They are tasty. No, no. We'll get the ax. <laughs> this is real? This guy ate kids? That's up. Albert Fish, f you, man. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer. No one more than a poet can help the ins. What? No more than the poet can help the inspiration to sing. The f I actually think I may be possessed with demons. I was dropped on my head as a kid. <laughs> the demons wanted my penis. <laughs> oh, oh my god. You feel that last bit of breath leaving their body. You're looking into their eyes. A person in that situation is God. I don't feel good about this anymore. <laughs> if you mix human and animal meat together, no one can tell the difference. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a vampire. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, guys, the next one is uh, from Philip Pisarski. He says, how would the Valley Folk theme park look like? There would have to be a puppet show. There would yeah, have to be some absolutely. kind of puppet show. Do you guys want to do a preview of what, 30 seconds of what the puppet show would look like, or do you not want to do that? We could do that. I mean, we don't have to do it. Yes, but we I had puppets in the last one. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the 545 showing of the Valley Folk Puppet Jamboree. Uh, you have a special treat today for two of our puppets have never met, but today they will. <laughs> Look, it's just two sentences crammed together. We have a special treat for <laughs> two of our... Oh, hey, 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 everybody! Hi. How's everybody doing today? Doing good! Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Um, we uh, we realize that you guys uh, are new to the group, yeah, and um, yeah. we just want to say, first of all, thank you for being here. Yeah, um, but, anytime. But second of all, it occurred to us that you guys actually haven't met each other. That's right. I oh, yeah. met this man here, or lady, I, or what are you, sir? Um, I'm Scuzz. Scum. Scuzz. Uh, well, it's, it's Scuzz. It's Scuzz. And then, it's Scuzz. And then, Scuzz. For Last Nesto, you name wanna... Bucket. Scuzz Bucket. Scoots bucket. Scoots. 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 You look a little dirty. Can I clean? Yeah, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, no. You look really clean. Where's this going? Ooh, you look clean. I don't know. Do you feel clean? No. Well, we can do it again. How do you feel now? You feel clean? I feel energized, rejuvenated. Yeah, that's good. Kind of clean. That's what happened when clean. Oh, Honestly, that... Elliot, I do feel like our characters aren't developed enough yet to really stand by an entire theme park show. Yeah, yeah, and plus, like, you know, whoever's puppeting us gets, like, super tired in, like, three minutes. <laughs> My body hurts. My thumb hurts. Kids, thank you so much. Um, why don't you join us at 6.30 when we replace the puppets with a couple of total f***ing divas. Hey, f*** you, would... man. Welcome to Your World Today. I'm Elliot C. Morgan, and true equality means half of everything is unequal. And I'm Joe Beretta, filling Lee Newton. Damn it. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Will Smith posted a photo on his Instagram with Casey Neistat. We'll throw it up here to save you some time. This is exciting for us here at the Valley Folk because it's one of those rare moments where a social media star gets to hang out with Casey Neistat. Started off real mean and got kind of yeah, nice. Yeah, nice because I respect him artistic. Coffee has been linked to longer life in a recent, yeah, duh. Starting Wednesday, legal downloadable 3D printed guns will be available, including AR 15s with no background check required. I just want to say something. Can you imagine something more terrifying than being shot? by a total nerd. Okay, Einstein's theory of relativity has passed yet another test, which we think is pretty cool, but you might find boring because everything is relative. And just like that, Einstein's theory of relativity has passed yet another test. I don't think that's what, I don't think that's what it means. Yeah, but that's what you think. And I thought the other thing, which is another example of relativity, and it passed another test. Connor McGregor? <laughs> More like Connor McGuilty. A man was arrested after vandalizing Donald Trump's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and good! I'm glad he was arrested. The guy's an idiot. You know why? Well, we're gonna break it down for you. We're gonna break it down for you. Oop. Here's a hot take. Donald Trump actually is a pretty good television star. Yeah, I mean, only if you consider the fact that he's on all the channels, all the time, all over television. Credit where credit, baby. Also, the Hollywood Walk of Fame is disgusting. It's covered in poop and only some of that's from dogs. A lot of it's mine. The last thing that area needs is your token gesture protest and bullcrap booty kicking up poo dust everywhere. Yeah, man, this is Los Angeles, okay? We have tourists to disappoint. Throw the book at him, judge. And guys, register to vote, please. And this has been broken down. This has been broken down. And finally, Italian scientists have discovered a lake of actual liquid water hiding under the ice caps on Mars. That's right, folks. It's a new story that's after my own heart. Now, I know we like to joke here, but there's a lot of interesting stuff going on, so buckle in. For starters, this means life may be sustainable on Mars. We can already brew beer there, which is real dope, and not to mention it's beautiful, and now we're looking at a potentially 12 mile wide lake with salty water that brushes up against rock, which means, and this is huge, Oh, go to Mars! <laughs> Fuck my chair, man! Well, um, I guess joining us today we have extreme athlete Scooter Bryce. <laughs> Woo! Oh man! Oh, I am pumped! What are uh, what are these? Oh, these are my sponsors. This is the dude, Nas, Monster, Axe, and uh, California Cheese. Happy cows! <laughs> oh man! I cannot wait to get up there and crush some freaking crazy. Face like with my board. Oh, I'm gonna corkscrew and some shot. Wait, are you saying you're gonna try and wakeboard in space? Oh, no, I'm gonna. I'm saying that I'm gonna fucking mob on some Mars glass, bruh. Oh, I've been doing so many things to prep, too, man. Uh, I watch Mars Attacks. Uh, I've been listening to 30 Seconds of Mars, and um, I've been doing the do. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay with the fact that it's gonna take you nine months to get there? <laughs> Uh, yeah, actually, I could really use the time to reflect on um on some things. Uh, my buddy recently passed, Hambone. He passed in a freak blindfolded parasailing prank. 
So yeah, wait, 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 wait. So they like just like, just like have some time for me, like just some time for myself. What does Scooter want? You know what I mean? Like what is, what is Scooter lives and dreams? Is like how is Scooter gonna crush Mars? Are you okay? Can I do anything? Don't touch me, dude. <laughs> Go to Mars! <laughs> Scooter Bryce, everyone. And that it does us here for On Your World today. I'm Elliot C. Morgan, and listen, remember always to others, too. I'm Joe Beretta, and time we'll see next year. Woohoo! <laughs> Ed Farrow says, hey, Steve, uh, why don't you perform a song from the perspective of an innocent meth head whose dog was cruelly stolen whilst on a camping trip. That's not how it works. Is this uh... <laughs> she was gonna sew her up herself. So I'm doing a song from the perspective of the people whose dog that you stole. saved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just know that she she was actually Why like, did you steal my dog? No, I just know that she also the cat in cages. Why did you steal two my cats dog? In cages in the middle of the woods. Lee. Also had a ferret in a cage. Why did you ruin my life? Leave that dog was my life. Leave. What was that dog's name? You stole him from my life. Okay, got it. Yeah. Leave. Oh, he made my she was, it was a woman, there was no dynamic of husband or wife. My son is so depressed. So that, that goes without Lee. saying, I think, that's who they are. My daughter won't talk to me. Well, that, I think that's developmental Lee. in the speech patterns because... That dog held our family together. That can't be right. Lee. They gave it to me so quickly. Our lives are now ruined. That's just on you. Lee. I think you make had bad, bad life decisions. I will never be the same. I think it'll be fine. Leave that dog was all that mattered. Leave. And we were going to eat it. It's yeah, the yeah. catchiest lyric I've ever heard. Oh, thank you. Leave. Really nice. All right, yeah. well, guys, thanks for sending in all of your questions. Of course, we curate them all from Patreon. And if you go to patreon.com slash thevalleyfolk, you can become a patron, and you can include your questions for us. And we just may read them, and a really cool or really bad bit might come out of it. <laughs> cool. Anything else? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Oh, OK. Usually we try this. Do we want to do any transitions? <laughs> <laughs> all right. You good? Cool. Can I do one really quick? I don't know. Yeah, okay. Hey guys, check this out. <laughs> <laughs>